to just wait. Hi, I'm Sean. And I'm Erica. And we're going to do a, a video about... Adding two negative numbers. Pacha! Like negative two plus negative three. How do we solve this, Erica? I would use a number line to help me solve this problem. Oh, cool. Let me get my line tool over here. Okay, now what do we do? See, I would start at negative two, which is our first number in the problem. And then I know that when you add a negative, it's like you're adding more negative, so you're moving to the left on the number line. Oh, so I go, so this is left, right? That's left. Okay, so I go that way. And how far do I go? Well, our number is negative three, so we're going to move three jumps, or three spaces, to the left. And we'd end up at negative five. How do you know that? Well, if I start at negative two, one jump would land me at negative three, the next jump would land me at negative four, and I'd finally land on negative five. Oh, cool. Um, but I want to try another example. Is that okay? Sure. Okay. So I'm going to, I'm going to bomb this and clear it. <laughs> okay. Um, so sometimes students tell me stuff like, oh, Sean, negative three and negative one, that's positive four somehow. And they say to me that it's two negatives make a positive. What do you think about that, Erica? Is that true? No. Oh, it's not true. I, I think that they're getting confused with subtracting a negative. Um, so well, like negative one minus negative three? Right. In this situation, when we're subtracting a negative number, it's like adding a positive. So we could switch the subtraction to an addition sign and change the sign of the second number to a positive. Oh, OK. And so another thing I guess we could say to students is here is like negative three and negative one, it's still going to be negative because of the number line, mm -hmm. like you said. And I guess also we could say chipboards as well. Mm -hmm. um, so here we'd have how many ch negative chips for this one? So we'd have three negative chips. Okay. And then we're adding another negative chip. So we're going to put on one more negative chip. Oh, so adding is like grouping together. Mm -hmm. So here we just have a bigger group of negative stuff. Yes. Oh, okay. So there's no way, if, if I keep adding negatives, am I always going to be stuck with a negative? Yes. Okay, it's always going to happen. Yes, because the value is going to decrease. We're not adding any positives, so we're not going to move to the right on the number line. Oh, all right. Thanks, Erica. No problem. Okay. And when you guys are done, you hit, sh write this down, ship. 